bringing the people behind our food to life. People ask sometimes, how can you eat baby lambs? And I said, we don't eat baby lambs. We eat teenagers, basically. For our lambs, they're in the six to 10 month of age range when they are the right weight to go to slaughter. Part of the problem is that lamb is known as lamb, basically, instead of veal for a calf, beef for a cow. You know, it's, they also they have other names that don't necessarily refer directly to what the animal is. But that doesn't happen with lamb. And so you, with some people, you run the problem of, oh, it's so cute, I can't eat it. Within about three months, they are going to be, they're going to look so much different. They're not really a baby lamb anymore. Within six months, they can look just like an adult sheep. They aren't the sweet little gambling lamb anymore. And they quickly move through that phase. Within about a month, they're seriously getting down to brass tacks to eating forage. And yes, they still play and they're entertaining and stuff to watch. But within about six to 10 months, they're like an adult sheep. They're not this little, tiny, cute, fun baby lamb. And it's like the difference between, I mean, you eat, if you eat chicken, I mean, is it a problem to look at a baby chick? Say, the same kind of a thing. And so it's just one of the issues you deal with if you raise meat, no matter what it is for people. And uh, yep, there are people who are vegetarians and I don't, and vegans and whatever, and they can have their choice. The problem for me is when they try and dictate everybody else's choices. That's what's wrong. People deserve their choices and to be able to live the way they want and eat what they choose. And the problem for me is when people who choose not to eat meat or use animal anything try and pass laws or force people into whatever their, their philosophy is.